Welcome to the fourth edition of June Chepkeme Special, where we are focusing on businesses that are thriving despite COVID-19 challenge. Here, we are telling the story of startups and SMEs that have gone beyond the challenge to leverage technology to ensure continuity in their businesses amid the pandemic. This week, we are privileged to feature Elizabeth Chin, a social entrepreneur who is keen in ensuring urban food sustainability leveraging technology and innovation. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Achien. I'm the co-founder of Ukulima Tech, a social enterprise that promotes urban access to sustainable, healthy, and nutritious vegetables. At Ukulima Tech, we are encouraging everyone everywhere to grow vegetables right at home. So how did you develop the interest in urban agriculture? Uh, my interest was born out of challenges of limited spaces within the urban setup where people are finding it difficult to have gardens uh, within their homes where they can grow food for their own subsistence or for their family household consumption. And secondly, there's been news around the kind of vegetables that we eat in Nairobi. Vegetables that are being, that are being grown within sewer lines and that, that are affecting our healthy lifestyle. So this interest was born out of the idea of uh, enabling people to grow their own vegetables. When you grow your own vegetables, you know uh, where it is coming from. So there's the issue of traceability, and this ensures that we are eating healthy. What's your background? How has this been uh, useful with regards to your current undertaking? Uh, I have a background in development studies, uh, where now I'm focusing on project management uh, uh, within the business. So I run the project management angle perspective of the business and uh, where we design projects uh, and ensure that these projects are implemented. Uh, to Kulima Tech, we have different projects. We have uh, uh, vertical gardens for households. We have vertical gardens for restaurants. And then we also have vertical gardens for school programs. After campus, I worked for an organization as a sales and marketing personnel. After three years of formal employment, uh, personally, I felt like I was becoming complacent. I was not experiencing any growth in my line of work. So I decided to take the risk and venture into agribusiness. Tell us the story of transitioning from an hobby to an actual enterprise. Uh, because I started growing vegetables as a hobby, uh, when I was living with my parents, I used to grow vegetables within the small compound that we have, and then it became sustainable. Then I would take photos, put on my Facebook page, and then I got my first client. And I was like, oh, so I can do this thing like a business. So therefore, I started gaining the interest of now, let me venture into this business. Because if, I have, if, I, if I'm getting around 10 inquiries, then it means I can sell this product. So I looked for a team within my circle with, uh, who have a passion for entrepreneurship and who have different skills that can bring to the table. And that's how we actually came together and registered the company, the startup Ukulima Tech. Uh, we started it in 2016, but our effective operations began in 2017. In 2017, we were four partners, but I had to one partner had to go because he, he had no interest in seeing the success of this business. And that's how we became now three co-founders. And one thing I realized is that uh, it's not just a matter of, be, of being friends. Friends might spoil the business. It's a matter of how passionate are you in seeing the growth of this business. How did you go about registering your company and ensuring that you have actually an entity that you can use to trade? Has that been uh, of an impact to your business? Uh, we went to the registrar office and looked for a lawyer who actually uh, explained to us the processes of registering a company uh, because we didn't have that experience and we didn't know if we are registering it as a limited company or as a there are different uh, perspectives of registering a business and because the lawyer that we had took us through all this then we just paid him and then he registered the company officially we needed to register a company so that we can grow the business in terms of uh, getting funding from organizations where we can implement community projects and this made it very important for us to actually register the business 
we are looking into expanding our workforce from the current 5 to 11. And this is because we want to achieve the following. Uh, one, we want to design and fabricate vertical gardens for restaurants. We want to convince these restaurants that you don't need to buy hubs. You don't need to go to the market to look for hubs. We can have the vertical gardens at your salad bar. We are also looking into uh, establishing partnerships with schools where we can cultivate vertical gardens as a school feeding program for the learning population. Most importantly, we want to establish large-scale garden fresh centers where we have large-scale vertical gardens within the city. We grow the vegetables on our own and then we supply for uh, large-scale consumers. So Elizabeth, how have you been able to leverage technology during this uh, pandemic to scale and ensure that you remain in business and you're still profitable as an entity. We have integrated technology into our systems by ensuring that we fabricate our own vertical gardens, then we supply it to households, then they can just do their own vertical gardens. Then we create a manual for them to do their own vertical gardens. Because normally we used to walk into a client's place install the garden ourselves but this made us realize that we do not need to actually go there physically we just do it and then we supply it to them uh, and then we have also realized the importance of having a mobile app and this mobile app is to enable us to communicate with our cu customers this app is going to be enhanced Right now, it's still in its initiation stage, but it's going to be enhanced uh, to allow consumers to order for deliveries within the comfort of their home. Please advise the young people who are probably having an idea, but they do not know how to you know, streamline it and get to translate it into a business. A lot of young people talk about, oh, farming is a job for the old people, but it's never that. I can actually say, I feel fulfilled in my company, that I'm creating impact, I'm also making money. It's just a matter of thinking broad and wide. What skills do you have that you can actually implement in our society? Vertical farming is the future. So let, this is an alternative solution that can actually be sustainable to both households, to consumers, and everyone with an interest in healthy, eating healthy. Thank you so much for your time. That was Elizabeth Achieng, a co-founder of Ukulima Tech, a social enterprise focusing on urban agriculture. This will be a two-part series where we will feature next a beneficiary of Ukulima Tech. So stay right here, join us next time. We'll show you how this particular technology and innovation is impacting uh, urban dwellers with regards to food security. Until next time, my name is June Chipkemi.